Senator Cory Gardner is expected to face a challenging re-election campaign next year, and already big names in the Republican Party are traveling to Colorado to rally for him. Political specialist Sean Boyd takes us to a meet and greet with Senator Gardner and former U.N. Ambassador Nikki Haley. I believe in Cory Gardner. I am here because I don't want Republicans to lose sight of the Senate. Ambassador Nikki Haley is here because Senator Cory Gardner needs help. And Haley is one of the few Republicans who can appeal to both Trump supporters, who think Gardner isn't pro-Trump enough, and suburban women, who are never Trump. The president trusts him, the Senate trusts him, and those of us that worked within the cabinet, we all trusted him. And so I think that what suburban women and all voters look for is someone they can trust. Haley, one of the few Trump appointees to leave on good terms and one of the few female stars in the Republican Party. Most of those here, women, and women outvote men in Colorado. But Trump struggles with female voters. How do you reconcile the Twitter Trump with the Republican policy, Trump? I'm not focused on a Twitter feed or any other handle. It's always what's good for Colorado. Yes, I'm going to disagree with the president. Yes, there are things that we're going to fight together to accomplish, like moving the Bureau of Land Management to Colorado. But it's about Colorado first and always. Ask yourself, do you appreciate the tax cuts? Do you appreciate the rollback of regulations? Do you appreciate the fight against universal health care? It doesn't matter whether you're pro-Trump or never Trump. It matters how you vote on these bills. And I think if you look at Corey's record, it's a solid record of watching out for the people of Colorado. Call that whatever you want. At the end of the day, I call it the senator we need in Washington. As for her own political future, Haley is on a short list of 2024 presidential contenders. A year a long time in politics. So what I'll tell you is right now I'm focused on this year. And the country will be focused on Colorado. Gardner faces one of the toughest re-election bids in the country. The state Democratic Party released a statement accusing him of hiding from voters because the event was invitation only. Gardner's campaign noted he has held three town halls open to the public in the last couple weeks. This is the first big campaign event for Absolutely. Gardner yeah. of the election cycle. And Haley said, Hinted that she will likely be back. Be back. So right. never a dull moment. Yeah. Thank you, Sean.